innovative, amazing science. I hope and believe that everyone is doing great. So am I. And I'm super excited to share another fun experiment with you all. In the olden days, I still remember the grannies used to prefer the herbs or the folk medicines. They hardly used to visit the doctor. But we live in the 21st century. Rather, I would say, we live in a technology and media suffused environment. So for us, time is very important. We don't prefer those folk medicines. We always prefer the modern medicines. I am not against those modern medicines. Rather, I would say these medicines or the modern medicines gives us instant relief. Because we are very much conscious about the time factor. So we usually like whatever is available readily. We just go to a doctor. Whatever he prescribes, we just follow it. And that's absolutely fine. We should do that. So I'm going to share you something which had happened in the past. So I was in grade 6 for that matter. And one day I noticed my mother had some pain in the stomach. I was not knowing what is that pain all about. So just she went to the kitchen and I followed her. The moment I saw she took a packet and she was about to pour in the glass. So I asked, Mama, what is this? She said, I'm getting pain or that pain is in the stomach due to indigestion. So if I'm going to take this sachet, so it is going to relieve me. So I was like, why you have to take this modern medicine? So why you have to take this sachet for that matter, which contains chemicals? Why don't you prefer the folk medicine or the herbs? Mama said, yes, that's fine. That's absolutely great idea. But now I'm having severe pain and I want instant relief. So this sachet is going to give me instant relief. I said, okay, fine. Then she started uh, pouring the sachet into the glass. The moment she poured water into it, I could see bubbles coming out or for that matter the fizz. I could observe it clearly. So I just asked what is this, uh, like what, what is happening exactly? She explained to me the signs and the reactions. To me, I did not understand exactly because it was not my cup of tea to understand the chemical reaction or the balancing or what is exactly happening. One word which caught hold of my brain was carbon dioxide. I just understood in simple language that when this sachet mixed with water, a chemical reaction is taking place and it is giving carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide is released. So I had a question at the back of end of my mind that if carbon dioxide is released and I just remembered and recollected what my teacher had explained and in fact my teacher had showed many experiments and one experiment was such where she explained air or rather oxygen is an important factor for burning or combustion for that matter. So I was thinking if oxygen is important for burning, then carbon dioxide should prevent burning. So I got an idea. So I thought, let me just do one experiment and just try to find out. Well, I was very successful. So I'm just sitting here. I thought, let me share my story with you and let us do the same experiment again. Are you ready? Let's get started. The things required are bottle of water, two empty glasses, Eno sachet, matchbox, two candles, and a pair of scissors. So my first step is I'll just lit this candle first. I'll 
keep this aside. I'll try to fix my candle here. Then I'm going to fill these glasses in the water. I'll take another candle and I'll just test what is happening. See, my candle is burning. I'll just test near this. The candle flame is not put off. Neither it is put off in this glass. Because in both the glasses, we have got water. And we already know that air is very much required. Or for that matter, oxygen is a supporter of combustion. And wherever we are sitting or anywhere for that matter, air is present everywhere. So my next step is, I'll just cut this Eno packet to one of the glass I'll keep the water as it is but to this glass I'm going to pour this sachet and see what is happening. Did you observe the candle flame was put off? Now just watch to this glass. Here the candle flame is burning. Again when I am taking nearby to this glass where the Eno sachet was poured. Again did you observe the candle flame is again put off. So what do we conclude? Uh, you must have remembered in my earlier experiments, uh, we had already discussed that air is very much essential for burning or oxygen is a supporter of combustion. So in this glass which contained only water and in and around air is present. So this glass when a candle was taken nearby to this glass, the candle flame was burning. But to this glass which contained water but after adding Eno to it, what happened? Actually, Eno contains what? We had already studied. Eno contains sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. But apart from this, when the sachet was uh, like taken and poured inside this water, there was a chemical reaction. That means carbon dioxide also was released. Due to this carbon dioxide, this candle flame was put off. Because we have also seen that when there is a fire, in the fire extinguisher, carbon dioxide is used. So just because carbon dioxide was released when this Eno sachet was poured in the water, so my candle flame was put off. If you enjoyed the experiment, do like it and do not forget to press the bell icon which is right there on your screen. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.